How safe are high-rise buildings around the state in a fire? Well, right now there are more than 40 buildings without sprinkler systems. The state fire marshal hopes a bill at the legislature will change that. Here's Esme Murphy. The horrifying Cedar Riverside blaze that left five dead isn't just a memory for Abdi Muhammad. It's a living nightmare. Whenever I pass by my late mom's building or remember her, it always brings me to tears. His 67-year-old mother was one of those who died. I hope my mother and others do not die in vain. Tom Brace was Minnesota State Fire Marshal for nearly 20 years. If that building at Cedar Riverside had sprinklers, would lives have been saved? Oh, absolutely. We think that one head would have put the fire out in a 400 square foot uh, apartment. Brace and the current state fire marshal, Jim Smith, testified for a bill that will require sprinklers in all Minnesota high rises by 2032. Smith testified apart from Minneapolis, a number of Minnesota cities, including Rochester, Mankato, and Duluth, have high rise buildings without sprinklers. Duluth alone has 13. Well, this is a statewide problem. We have identified at least 42 buildings throughout the state of Minnesota that are 75 feet or taller that do not have sprinkler systems. One concern is the cost. Previous retrofitting in St. Paul has cost just over $1 million per building, but that amount can soar. You have to be a little careful with cost figures because if you run into asbestos, you have to remove the asbestos. This bill to retrofit all Minnesota high rises with sprinkler systems has moved quickly through House committees. But its future in the Republican controlled Senate is a lot less clear. The bill's author there, Senator Kerry Diesick, has pushed repeatedly for a Senate hearing and so far has not gotten one. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Under state law, all high-rise buildings built after 1979 are required to have sprinkler systems. Those built before 1979 are grandfathered in.